Hi everyone, it's Mario Vegas, so welcome back to the Tank Zone. Uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, retrofits and uh, upgrade modules today. Which ones are most important and necessary if you want to increase your success in a game? Which are close to kind of uh, quote quote uh, universal and uh, can be used pretty much on any vehicle? And which you need in the most uh, of the tank games uh, for the most of the vehicles. Uh, of course, uh, there is not such a thing as uh, a universal uh, upgrade module, retrofit system, or whatever it is called in your game. Because any module does a very specific task, changing your vehicle's uh, functional parameters. But anyway, let's uh, put aside the clever, or how to put it in other words, uh, um, experience, judgment and weighed out uh, picking of uh, modules and assume that uh, we have no time, uh, do not want to put effort to calculate stats, uh, think uh, deeply about game mechanics or we are simply tired of all of that and uh, uh, we want more or less uh, decent uh, uh, vehicles performance in a match. Uh, that's why today I would like to talk uh, mostly in uh, general terms of this subject, uh, making this episode uh, useful and applicable uh, for most of the players, uh, um, no matter which one of numerous tank games you play. Only prerequisite is that uh, your game uh, has tanks that can be equipped with modules of your choice. I assume that this episode uh, will be more suitable for new players uh, that just recently started to play strategic tank shooter games. However, it might be an interesting uh, discussion topic as well for those uh, who played these games for years, giving them uh, the opportunity uh, to share their valuable professional opinion about uh, uh, this interesting subject. Uh, so let's start and um, to get our desired top three uh, upgrade uh, retrofits, the first thing that we must uh, do is to answer a quite simple question. What does, uh, uh, what gives us the edge in a tank games battle in the first place? In general terms, uh, uh, putting aside all our human uh, characteristics and uh, traits. So, what is a mechanical core that can increase success? And uh, let's start with one of the most important things that quite often might have been overlooked by players that just started to play, and it is simply vision. Uh, let's uh, put it as simple as it actually is. If you don't see your opponent, but uh, your opponent is able to see you, uh, you have a huge problem. Simply because uh, an experienced opponent uh, will try to keep the distance between your vehicles, uh, changing position uh, if required, cycling around using terrain and uh, keep that vision advantage for as long as possible and you simply will be unable to adequately return fire or reposition your vehicle. Uh, on top of that, uh, good vision means that uh, you will be uh, provided with more opportunity uh, to be able to spot targets and, and points, experience and credits uh, or from spotting and damage caused because of your spotting. So, therefore, number one kind of universal upgrade module or retrofit or whatever it is called in your game is that one that improves your vehicle's vision, especially if it works while you are on the move. That's why, for example, my vehicles, um, nearly all of them, have a vision retrofit, some kind of, of vision retrofit. So, uh, uh, what do you think about that? Uh, what is your opinion about vision and spotting in general? Uh, does vision upgrade really deserve to be in the first place? Share your opinion in the comment section and uh, let's continue with that.
place number two. So, um, let's think. What else uh, uh, could be highly valuable benefit uh, that will increase um, chance uh, to gain more success in a tactical tank shooter game? Okay, having improved vision, we increased our chance to see the opponent fast. Uh, hopefully outbeat uh, by vision, uh, but still the opponent might consider to close in for a close fight, close combat, therefore taking away your um, vision advantage. And uh, by the way, this is a one quite effective tactical way how to fight back and strip the enemy from the vision advantage. But um, today we will not talk about tactics. Um, additionally, uh, regarding a good vision, uh, you may be spotted by enemy scout, right? And uh, be forced to fight uh, on even times regarding vision. So, and what then? Uh, then, uh, roughly saying, you have uh, only uh, two choices, fight or flight. Uh, so, either fight back or reposition yourself. Therefore, quite often your vehicles. Firepower is another quite important parameter that highly influences your performance. Only in some tank games you can influence stats like uh, penetration and damage by picking appropriate guns. In some games uh, only partially, but in majority of cases you cannot influence them at all because penetration and damage rates are proportional to caliber if we talk about guns as such and ammo type you use. So your ammo choice can help, yes it can help, and it is really important to pick right ammo uh, for um, depending on your target. If you are interested about uh, different ammo types and how to use them more properly in the tank games, then there is solution for you. Tank Zone has a video specially dedicated uh, uh, to this topic. I will leave a, a video link in description. But now let's move on and figure out what we can do to improve our firepower. And the solution is quite simple. In most of the cases, you can. Um, and actually, you should consider increasing your vehicle's damage per minute, DPM, as much as possible by picking and installing uh, an upgrade module, retrofit system, or whatever it is called in your game, um, uh, that decreases reload time. Uh, let me give you a very uh, rough but true example. Say, if you have a duel with uh, the opponent uh, whose vehicle has a similar amount of health points left, then if your vehicle reloads is faster than opponents, even for a split of a second, then you, uh, your chances to win increases, because your, your chance um, uh, to make a final uh, decisive hit before opponent does increases. Say, while the opponent uh, can do three shots in 15 seconds um, and you can do three shots in 14, say, 0.25 seconds, that gives you a chance to make a final decisive shot fast. So, you will, you will just win by time. Um, on top of that, um, if you increase your vehicle's DPM, then you're potentially... Um, uh, have a better opportunity uh, to earn more experience and credits uh, from damages you inflict and it really sums up during the whole duration of the match. Say 10% increase in damage potentially increases your earning um, experience and credits uh, for um, roughly the same amount, pretty much roughly. Um, not exactly, but it will increase, so progression will be faster through the weak lines and you will get more joy. Uh, of course, uh, it is just a rough estimate and your game skills are much more valuable than just installed module. But we agreed uh, not to talk about uh, um, uh, human traits and stick purely to the technical and mechanical things today.
right? So therefore, there are only and only benefits if uh, your vehicle's reload is fast and uh, you are ready to make a shot faster. And repeating myself, number two, upgrade refilled module uh, would um, be that one that decreases your reload time. In most of the cases, in most of the games, it will be called gun bridge module. Uh, regarding the third one and last uh, module uh, from our top, uh, well, it is highly difficult uh, to pick uh, this one uh, to make it uh, universal and uh, applicable with uh, uh, equal benefits uh, over different vehicle classes. That's why I decided to pick a different one for each vehicle class. So, excuse me for that. Uh, let's start with the uh, main battle tanks or heavy and medium tanks, as they uh, are called in some games. As these beasts uh, quite often sacrifice aim time and accuracy over uh, firepower, then quite often you will be correct if uh, you will pick upgrade uh, retrofit that uh, will improve these parameters regarding light tanks. As they are faster than heavy main battle tanks and often being used as uh, effective flankers, then in general terms, uh, third and final upgrade module for these battle horses uh, uh, could be that one that enhances their maneuverability uh, either top speed or half traverse. If we talk about scout tracks and vehicles like that, uh, then vision spotting and uh, concealment uh, will be your priorities. As we talk uh, about uh, top three modules in general times, and uh, we already picked vision improvement and DPM boosts, uh, then I guess uh, we have no other choice as to pick modules that increases vehicles concealment. And finally, tank destroyers. Well, as these snipers uh, in 90% of uh, time use concealed positions and work from large distances, they need one thing above all others, and it is precision and accuracy. Therefore, as third universal, universal kind of uh, upgrade module retrofit uh, for these machines, I would suggest uh, that one that decreases uh, spread. As I mentioned uh, at the beginning, there is not such a thing as a universal module, retrofit system or whatever it is called in your game. Each vehicle has its own pros and cons, designation, ways of use, duties in a match, and tactics uh, that fit best for it. That's why if you want to set up your vehicle the way it more or less perfectly fits exactly and exclusively for certain model, you must take time uh, and weigh out its pros and cons, decide which tactics and duties it will perform in a battle, uh, compare this vehicle to its counterparts, uh, weigh out all major game mechanics and uh, only then pick right and sometimes quite exclusive upgrade modules and retrofits for your vehicle. That's why Tank Zone has another related video exactly about uh, this topic where you can see step by step uh, how you can pick most suitable retrofits and modules uh, for your vehicle and the same as this video that video episode again applies uh, to most of the games uh, like for example Armored Warfare, World of Tanks, War Thunder and, and others. Uh, so and uh, to make things easier for you I will leave the link in the description down below there. Uh, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching and following Tank Zone. Have a wonderful day and see you in the next episode.